Hello and welcome to the Deploying to AWS with Ansible and Terraform course on Linux Academy. You're going to hear me say that a lot over the next few videos, but I hope you enjoy the content. Let's take a look at what's in store. So first up, I'll just talk a little bit about me. I don't have a whole lot to say, luckily. I spent many years running a consulting business, so I've been in tech for I, I probably 15 years or more, uh, off and on with working on small things all the way to large deployments. I am currently or previously certified in Microsoft, Cisco, CompTIA, Red Hat, and AWS, with Red Hat and AWS my two current certifications. I've worked for a large web hosting company, and there I definitely saw the need for infrastructure as code and configuration management. So what's so great about this course? Why should you take it? Well, this course, first of all, will help you deploy a three-tier AWS environment. You will learn about some more advanced AWS features that you may not have encountered in the AWS CSA course. You will use Terraform and Ansible, which are both very, very, very important and very popular right now. So between AWS, Terraform, and Ansible, you are adding three very important keywords to your resume. And then, of course, you can actually deploy this WordPress blog and use it for your own blog or portfolio or whatever you want to use it for. So it's actually a usable project that you will be able to modify and use for yourself. So before we get started, let's talk about a few of the prerequisites for this course. So AWS Certified Solutions Architect knowledge is recommended for this course. We're going to be covering some of the slightly more advanced topics such as S3 VPC endpoints and security groups, routing tables, things like that. If all of those are familiar to you, this course won't be a problem at all. If they are not familiar, you may want to go and refresh some of the CSA level concepts in our CSA course. Now, Linux knowledge is also very important. You don't need that much, but you do need to at least know how to modify files using Vim, preferably, or Nano or Emacs, whichever is your preferred, but I'll be using Vim. And you need to know how to manage packages and perform other simple commands such as sudo and other very basic Linux commands that are required in this course. Some experience with infrastructure as code, such as with CloudFormation, is also very useful. If you have some experience with Terraform, then that's great. This isn't necessarily a requirement, but I certainly recommend understanding the concepts behind CloudFormation Terraform, and other infrastructure as code tools. And then finally, some experience with WordPress is also useful. Although it's definitely not required, just understanding how it works, how it communicates with the database, etc. may help make this course a little bit easier. All right, so that's all for the introduction. Go ahead and complete this lesson and go on to the next one and we can get started with our infrastructure.